Hi, welcome back to Holly's Dreadful Colors. This is my assistant, Sadie. Yeah, oh. Okay, and we are gonna get started. We are gonna do probably the video that you guys have all been waiting for, looking forward to, um, that I've been talking about. So we're gonna get right into it because it's gonna take a little bit of time to show you all of what we're doing. So today what we're doing is we've already done our initial roll with all of the sets we're gonna work on right now. All the wool, the roving wool, we've turned, the, we've done our basic roll so they're all in the shape of a dreadlock and connected where we want them. I'm going to show you three methods to create texture. Now, if, actually, I'll, let's get started and then I will remind you of what we need to know. What okay. are you doing with you, the whisk? I don't know, I'm just moving the whisk around. <laughs> okay, so Sadie's whisked this up. Let's see here. We have two things right now. We're gonna show the first things first, okay? Okay, let's go. Wow. Down this way. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Now. It's my hands. See, this is um, a set for Sadie, actually. Yeah. Oh, and I'm going to be working on it today. Okay. And uh, she's going to work on her own set. So we're going to, this is um, alpaca and then mixed with Coradale. Okay. So we've already connected them. Um, and what we're going to do is put them in this soapy hot water. This was boiling. We are going to be using gloves, but we are going to let it cool a little bit, which is why it's already set up. Um, we're going to put the um, wool in here, and Sadie, you can use the spoon to push it in. It looks like it's overfilled, but once it fills up with water, if you go gently, the water, the wool absorbs the water, and then it all fits in there. There we go. i never done this before, because usually the hot water is a mommy part. I'm also gonna, while she's pushing that in, I'm going to make a point of what I'm gonna be doing over here, okay? Um, over here is their next station. And this is different. Um, this is also going to create texture. Um, but I wanna show you kind of why I might do something like this. So, um, the, te the texture that you're going to get in the hot water bowl that I just showed you where Sadie's putting her stuff in, um, that can that's gonna be hand done. Um, it can create all sorts of texture, but it also is good if you um, are creating uh, um, permanent dreadlocks where you um, want to leave the ends out so they don't get uh, fully felted. Um, it's good for lux ends if you want to be gentle. This one is also good for lux ends. So I have recently created a set um, with lux ends, some shorty lux ends. Not sure how they're all gonna go, um, but I do want to be on a jet, be a little. I want to clean them because it is raw um, locks that I used um, that come straight from whatever sheep it came from, um, and I do want to create texture all the way through, but I don't want to over felt those ends. So I'm going to put them in here now. Can I borrow your spoon? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, and I'm gonna let these soak and let this water cool while we work on the next step. Just get these in here. Get those can... little tails in there. They make me think of lion tails, so we'll see how it looks. This is my first time using a shorty. You um, can see how my I think mom... it'll look good with the set that I'm making, so I think it'll all mesh together, but it may not be something I you use all like the time. You look like noodles, Mommy. Mine look like noodles. They do sometimes look like noodles, especially when I, like, squeeze them out and I put them in the oh, cold yeah, water bowl. They, they look... look like little brains. Okay. Little like brains. Some, some ramen. Okay, we're back over here. Let me get my glove on. Ah! I'm going to do a demonstration, and then I'm going to let Sadie do some demonstration, okay? Because she probably has seen me do this, but she hasn't done... She might have even done this, but I'm going well, to yeah, demonstrate and then show. That's why you bought me this glove so I can do that. Yes, okay. So I did buy her gloves a while back. Oh, shoot. Um, so I'm going to pull one Last strand one, out. that's why I only have I'm one. I'm pulling one so. strand out. It is hot. I do have... This is not going to protect me, but... so. This is one of the ways that we can control how the texture comes out. Oh, and one more thing before I get started. We want to remember that these these are two different kinds of wool. And I can do whatever I want to them, but they will have the texture that they have. Um, they are going to have a different texture. They will. Um, Cordale is more bumpy and slight waves. Um, alpaca can get pr fairly kinky wavy. Um, we'll see how they look afterwards. Um, and every wool that you get is going to have, they might fall into a certain category like smooth, kinky, curly, wavy, bumpy, but they're going to keep their own texture um, individually. So no matter what you do to manipulate, they will still kind of keep the natural 
texture. So what I'm doing is I'm rolling kind of in my hands. You want to do a piece? You want to demonstrate with me? Okay, let me get another piece. Um, I doing oh, watch out because it's a little hot. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, safety first. Okay. Doing it quick. So you can go back and forth. Which? You can go in a circle. And what I like to do is back and forth in a circle. Kind of like a bigger circle, I guess we could say. And depending on how vigorous you are, so you could be pretty gentle. I kind of want to go back and forth. Okay, whatever you want. It'll give you a different texture. And um, if you want to be vigorous, then you're going to get more texture. If you want to just have a little wave, then you do it softer, okay? These are pretty soapy. If you want to look, this is kind of, we can kind of pull it apart and show you. Yeah. You want to uh, pull I'm, yours apart? I'm scared that it's going to pull it apart. Literally pull oh, it apart. Let's back up just a little bit. Oh my gosh, that's way more space. Okay. Woo. All right. So, to kind of give you a sense Look here. how big this is. I know. So, we've already started getting texture. And yeah. what we're going to do, I'm actually going to put it back in the ball because what I like to do, I'm going to kind of roll it just a little bit more and put it back in the ball. I, what I do is, now that you can probably see, this bowl right here is just plain cold water. And I want to just put it just like that. Hold on, let me bring it closer. Like a plain in, in a ball. It looks put like it a right blade. in there. Go ahead and put that in there, Sadie. Plop the noodles in okay. there. This is extreme kind of, This is like extremely cold. Okay, hold on. I'm going to pull one out for you. My mom obviously doesn't trust me um, squeezing it even though I, I did it. I don't think it's a trust thing. It is just very hot. I can feel it through my gloves too. Okay. I can't feel it. All right, anything. we're just rolling. Here we go. This is tedious work, but this is how you can hand texturize your wool. You think you're good? Then you can just put it in there. Oh shoot! I think I'm done. Okay. Am I good? Yep, looks good to me. What if Bodhi woke up right now? So we are trying to do this video while the new baby is sleeping. I think he might be waking up. He though. kind of moves around, but that doesn't mean he's awake. So we'll be quick. Quick little rubs. Here we go. Okay. Uh, he almost rubbed it back into the hot water. Uh oh, I heard him. No, baby, we're not ready. No, oh, baby, we're not ready, baby. Really. Yeah. Let us finish our video. So, guys, we are. Well, I think some of my dreads are going to be a different texture than all those. You're going suckers, and I'm going back and forth. Yeah, you know what? It'll be interesting to see how those turn out. Sometimes you have to experiment. Look, I do what I do because I've watched it and I've experimented and done stuff. Um, but you may like, like the back and like forth this. texture. I you like may like, like this, mommy. Yeah, I think you're good. Ooh. Yeah, plop that in there. Oh, here. Ooh. Okay, I wanted to grab my own. You think it's cool enough for you to grab your own? So you have to remember to grab with your dish one, not your gray one, right? So grab with the one that you bought me for the dreads? Yeah. The yellow one, I should say. Oop, I got it on my own. Wait, I can use these gloves for dishes? Yeah, they're dish gloves, because they're supposed to protect you from hot water. I think I gave it enough texture. Look how, like look, it looks like it's combined right here. It's, All right. it's probably going to spread apart in the water here. I'm going to let her continue with that a little bit. I'm going to start over here. Let's see here. Okay. Mm. Uh -oh. Let these soak a little bit. You're good. How are you doing? You want to pull? You could actually do two at a time if you want. Um, um, just it'll be a little hotter because there's more water. Okay. So this I'm trying to do be... I can be as vigorous as I want in any way that I do this, okay? But this, I want to create it's hot. texture and rubbing, but I don't want to mess up my Lux end. So sometimes if I feel like I need to be gentler, Who's that's that what I'm going to do. Mama? Huh? Who is that for? Who's what for? This set? Yeah. Um, this set is for... It's a pre-made. It's not for anyone yet. Someone could purchase this. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. 
She makes pancakes. This is gonna actually gonna be because it's the time of year. This is gonna be a Beetlejuice set. A Beetlejuice. Yeah, we're gonna do Beetlejuice in here. So as I rub this on the board, I love how this feels when I probably you put have... a little bit too much water in here. But all these rub together. And this is getting a different color because we are actually cleaning these locks. I already kind of went through with the locks, but because this is a soap, that this will also dirty. clean. That is very dirty. But as you can see, there's lots of soap. I do spill a little bit out the side as I'm kind of being more vigorous. I did put too much water in here, but that's okay. I have it double toweled under here. I think I have two in one. This makes you able to kind of do a larger amount at once. Wow, I thought this was a two in one how long it is. As you can see, I'm starting to get some dip texture. It's kinking together. So this um, is Lincoln wool. Mommy, does this make a texture, Mama? Mommy, does this make a texture? Yeah, what you're doing. Just squeezing it? Yeah, that can also create a texture. So Sadie's trying something else. Um, she's trying to just squeeze it in her hand. Whoa! Where are we going here? Um, she's just trying to squeeze it in her hand and that is creating texture. I actually never done this technique before. It works, but when you have it as like this, because you have like little details on the front, so it, you think that makes a difference. And also, it's really satisfying <laughs> just having your look. So we use the. I'll tell you some more information. I'm using the bowl of hot water. You can go back to hot. Here, I'm, I'm using the bowl of hot water. See how it starts to what look like a big lesson? bowl of grains. I swear we're doing just dreadlocks in here. We're playing with wool. Um, I think I might have. I do that it. because wool is a type of hair, and it does have follicles. And yeah, when we funny. get them very hot with hot water, it kind of like natural hair. It kind of blows open the follicles. Okay, and then we, we put it in cold with... water, we manipulate it, and then we put it in cold water and it helps close the follicles which will keep them in the texture that you want. I'm trying all sorts of different stuff here. I want to get all sorts of texture in this. And and I want trying... it to be even, so I'm just kind of going for it. And I'm trying to make new textures. New textures, okay. It's worth a shot. It's your set, so it's perfect. And I'm doing this my fingers. I think this might be making a new texture. Sadie just mentioned to me as we were getting do, getting prepared for this that what if my phone falls into the water? And now I'm a little paranoid. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a new fear. I'm sorry. While I'm making dreadlocks. It just looked like it was gonna fall into the hot water. Uh-huh. So mm -hmm. instead of, so I'm kind of using this, right? Um, I'm to kind of create something. Of I'm also using the wool with itself um, to um, have it rub against itself I'm and create it texture. I don't know if you soap. can tell, but I am getting some texture I'm in here. I'm hoping to take out the soap, Mama. Here, what? Oh, oh Mommy, it's kind of foggy at the bottom. It's probably from all the soap. Oh, yeah. Because we're taking it from a soapy spot and then just putting it in. Like this. Real water. Yeah. Can I help you with that? Was that a mommy job? Well, this was kind of the mo the mommy job. Come on. Don't you have to wait two hours for this? No, we do not. You don't have to leave that in there for very long. I'm just leaving it in there while I'm... Then I will take them out individually and just... Care I will wring them out closed in my hand like we did when we were giving texture. And then we will... Um... Hang it up on the thing behind us? Yes, then we will open each one up just gently. We don't want to pull all the um, the texture out that we and just created. And the little thingy magazines. Last time I, a bigger I had... Bowl. I'm making a big old mess over here. I got this off Amazon because I wanted to try it.
they have bigger ones. You could get yourself a whole bucket with like a metal washboard. Um, I thought this one would be good for, I wasn't planning to do such a huge set, I guess. I think I put too much water in here, but um, I could have probably used a bigger bowl, I suppose. This just I do have one more method I'm going to show you, which is, I suppose, it changes things, okay? So it's kind of a game changer, uh, but it changes things in a couple different ways. So I'm going to show you the washing machine method, which the is good for machine? sets oh. in bulk, okay? Um, but, she had to you do know, that. that it, she had to do that for mine before I asked for the, um, the, uh, um, brown. Brown. Color. Ah, yes. Okay, so I could show a demonstration of that. Um, like the thing about the washing machine is although it's really handy and very quick, um, um, it's not the same kind of quality. I mean, you're not, it's you not need... a hand done, I'm talking, um, it's not a hand done dreadlock the same way, right? Um, so, you know, some makers are opposed to the washing machine method, um, but it is, can be quicker. Um, some people have even used a dryer method. I don't really recommend that and I never use that as an option. Um, just because you really have to be careful, you will shrink your wool quite a bit. Um, so, let me just kind of show you what I've created here. Yes, you can talk while I unravel. And, um, while you're putting it in the washing machine, you may want to use, like, a pillowcase or, like, a, like, um, like, um, a little cloth. Is that a cloth bag? Yes, I will show the bag. Yeah, it's a little, like, a little bag. And I think, will it get hair all over your, dry, your washing machine if you don't want it? You know what happens is you want a lot of rubbing in the washing machine. Yeah. Um, it doesn't get a lot of hair in it because we already have hair. We have dogs. We always get hair in our washing machine yeah, no matter what. True. But um, what it does do is... Um, protects your locks from any other fabric that you have in there. Um, I am particular about my fabric just because I do use a uh, warm or hot for the wool because that helps it felt better. Um, as you can see, they're kind of like starting to stick together. That is kind of what we want here. It is still a controlled thing. Once you put it in the washer, it's not I'm as controlled. Bored. You're kind of going with the whatever the washer is doing. Um, so this is just kind of, I will show you the bosses, right, this is good for right the now. Let me take this off. The bosses making is kind of boring for kids. Can be a little boring. I find it the most therapeutic because I probably have kids. <laughs> I can listen to all the chaos going on going on at my house and still just sit here and make dreads and be happy. So let's see if I can get this to. I don't know why that's moving on me. Look at me. Look at my face. How bored I am. Okay, get out of me. I, have to okay. I was about to fall into the hot wall. Okay. This is what I use. Yeah. It's like a fabric. It's oh. like an intimate linen kind of bag. Oh. You, I found it off Amazon. Yeah. You can find them. I've sometimes seen them at the dollar store. I didn't see them when I went to look this last time, so I had to order. I got like a three pack. They're extra large because they were on sale, but ultimately I don't usually need extra large. This is actually still a little big, even for a 50 piece full set. Okay, so let's see here. Which ones am I throwing in there? These ones. Okay. Which ones? Which ones are these ones? I don't know what to do. I am throwing this set right here in there. We have already done this for so 19 this minutes. One, this is already its natural texture. This is Lincoln wool. Okay, this I did a once roll. It is not fully felted, but you can see that it already has texture. Um, put throwing it in the washing machine does create more texture. That actually is um, handy. Again, this is a fast way to get texture and not do so much. So here's the deal. Let me see. Uh, the washing machine does have value. If you have arthritis, if you have carpal tunnel, if you cannot be hand doing all your wool um, because you have reasons for not being able to do it, or you're doing lots in bulk, washing machine will help, okay? You still wanna felt it once, you wanna get it good and felted, 
um, with a with an initial roll. Um, but then you can throw it in the washing machine, and that does a lot of the work for you. Um, I do like to do I do the washing machine method. Clearly, I'm doing one right now. Um, when I have to do like a, a, a set of 50. Um, but if I'm doing smaller sets or I need to be on the more delicate side because of what I'm creating, um, I will do it by hand. Um, and, um, and, and when you do it by hand in either the basin with the washboard or the bowl, um, you are putting all your love and time. You're, you're earning your keep here. You're earning your money. You are doing solid work. You are fully in charge of what the, what the texture will be, whether it's light or it's more, or it's, you know, um, Okay, I'm not gonna keep babbling. We're at 20 minutes here, so let me go upstairs. Let me show you, hold on, can you sit up please? No. I need you to so I can use my arm. Okay, my when assistant go, isn't being very assisting right now. Okay, when so you I'm go gonna put upstairs, these in I'm gonna the bag. Show the you do not need to do anything else with the bag. You just need to put them in and put them in the washer. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna pause and show you what we're doing upstairs. Okay, so here we are in our laundry room. Oh, we still have all your gloves on. Okay, so I didn't take them off. This. Oh, let me turn uh, this. Let me turn this. Excuse around. me. Okay, so this is our washing machine. Dun, 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 dun. It's, um, it's like a Lego washing machine. <laughs> all washing machines yeah. are a little different, but when I do my wool, okay, I either want to use the warm, which will have a little less kinky, or the hot, which will give you as much texture as you're probably going to get. Okay. Um, and then you can either do light or delicates again they're going to create a different one that's more textured or not because one is a little bit faster than the other okay just depends on what you want to do and i'm showing you the different ones because what you may have only delicates or only light now. and that's what you want to work Mommy. sweetie don't talk when i'm talking because then they can't hear me okay so let's open this up uh, already yeah. empty there's nothing in here right now oh my gosh my gosh i just realized how dirty my thing is okay so <laughs> um i'm gonna put the bag in here and then a lot of times I like to add a towel or two, something that I want to do in hot water. Um, but just as an example, um, like I have this towel to wash. It's my dreading towel. I've been dyeing color with it. Um, it always pulls my water green. So even though this is something I would love to wash with this because it's in a mesh bag, um, we don't want to put that in there because that will discolor my wool. So anything that might discolor or get something all over, you want to think about that before you throw it in. Because then, especially if you're doing a light white color, you will end up doing it and making a mess. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'd use regular laundry detergent. I'm not going to do it right now because my hand is full with... Paint. I can hold it. Um, let's see. Hold okay, paint. so that is the end to our video. Um, we are going to start the washer and get that going. So we've got three sets going on, three different ways, multi-different textures. Um, and I'm kind of excited to see how wash day is going to go. Alrighty, thanks for joining us. Thank subscribe, like, follow along. I have more Lux Ends, Single Ended, um, how to connect and blend two different together. And I'm going to be able to you in other videos. Yep, I'm sure she'll be here for other videos. So thank you for tuning in. Bye. Bye.